got another one. This is Tom. Now, if you follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all of those links down below, so definitely check those out. You'll know that I got my new desk today, and I've just played around for a couple of hours with my setup. So I thought that I'd share it with you due to the fact that I get this, ask this a whole lot to what my setup is and that kind of stuff. So without further ado, let's jump into it. Okay, so I am recording the entire video on my iPhone, so just bear with me with this. Uh, we'll start off from the left. I'll give you a kind of a wide angle shot. Uh, the exposure is going to mess with it because it's my window out here, hey. Um, but okay, so this is the desk that I chose. It's the IKEA Gallant desk. It's pretty nice. I'm really enjoying it so far. It's quite big. As you can see, uh, there's a Mac Mini for perspective. So it is quite a big desk. Uh, underneath, if we do this bit first, we'll just go under here. Uh, you see I've got my tripods in this corner. So obviously pretty self-expansion. I've got my umbrella lighting. I've got my stabilizer. Um, I've got the Editor's Keys Vocal Booth Pro, I've got a lot of cables, <laughs> as I'm sure uh, many of you will empathise with. Uh, I've got the Blue Lounge Cable Box, these are all pretty kind of standard products, I've also got my slider underneath uh, just there. So bringing up, and this is where the interesting stuff happens, I will uh, of course link all of the products that you see in this video down below in the description, so you can go and check them out for more info. We'll start from uh, right to left, from my view anyway, uh, you can see that here we have my wallet, we have a uh, windshield for the Zoom H1 which is here, so uh, as you can see there, just a ha it's called a Zoom H1 handy recorder, just a very nice microphone especially for when you're filming yourself. Uh, so here is the MacBook Air, uh, this is the 13 inch, it's a 2011 i7 version, very nice, it's on a Blue Lounge Mika stand as you can see there. Coming around is my Mac Mini. This is the 2012 i7. I'm currently doing a video series on where I'm kind of specking this out with an SSD and uh, more stuff, etc., like that. Bringing it up, we've got the Odyssey Audio, uh, no, not Odyssey Audio Doc Air. These are the Odyssey wireless speakers. No, not wireless speakers. Let's, let's find the box. Um, it is the Odyssey Lower East Side Media Speakers, there you go. This is my wall of boxes, so you can see that. I'm probably getting rid of this soon, I'm gonna get a uh, kind of a big poster up here on this wall. But uh, continuing along, we have the Blue Lounge Milo stand, uh, pretty surface branchy, it's like a smart smartphone stand. Uh, we have the Blue Lounge Sumo, as you can see I've got a lot of Blue Lounge products. Uh, I'm a huge advocate of their brand and company. Uh, we've got the D-Link, this is a uh, USB hub, which kind of just extends the amount of USB ports that I've got. Um, we've got some SD cards, we've got some coasters. I actually did a video on these coasters because I thought they were really cool. They're kind of like circuit board coasters, which um, is pretty cool. Uh, an HDMI switcher. I haven't got this all set up yet because I need to get another HDMI cable. But this will basically allow me to um, go on to uh, PS3 and my computer at the same time without having to manually switch over cables at the time, which is very useful. Here we have the Rockform Rock Dock. As you can see, let's try and get this light to fix. Um, it's an iPhone 5 dock, as I'm pretty sure you know. This was posted on Top for Apple. If you uh, missed that video, definitely check the top link in the description for Top for Apple, and uh, I'll, ex uh, I'll explain all about my new website. Uh, this is my wallpaper, as you can see. So um, I get a lot of questions about this kind of wallpaper and stuff like that. Um, and it is actual individual comic pages, which I stuck on and tore out of comics. So uh, that's what you're looking at when I blur out the background in my videos. Uh, moving on, we have some SD cards. These are just Transcend 32 gig SD cards. So uh, nice from that point of view. We've got the 50 millimeter F 1.8 lens for my Nikon D3200, which we'll get to in a second. This is a beautiful lens. It's got a really, really open aperture. So you can get some nice blurred backgrounds and that sort of thing. Got the tripod mount for my uh, Velbon tripod, I believe it is. Got the Elgato Game Capture HD, which I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with. Um, pretty self-explanatory. I mean, it's a game. It's a uh, capture card, if you don't know, but uh, very good one. Probably one of the best ones out there. My monitor is um, an LG monitor. Let's get that to brighten up again. Exposed, please. There you go. 
kind of. Um, it's just an LG monitor. I'm, I'll try and find it. Uh, I'm not even sure if they sell it anymore because it's about six, five, six years old. Um, but uh, I'll try and find it, and if I can, I'll link it down below. My DSLR, as you can see here, is the Nikon D3200. Um, just like that. It's a really nice camera. Absolutely love it. I shoot all of my videos with this, obviously apart from this one. Um, but it's, it's got a battery grip at the moment. Um, there's, it just kind of doubles the battery life and makes uh, it easier to hold. But a uh, very, very fantastic camera. Again, that will be linked down below as well. It's quite inexpensive for the quality that it produces. So, uh, you know, good from that point of view. Um, okay, so we go around the back now. And you can see my PlayStation 3, uh, or can you? Yeah, kind of. Uh, it's pretty much uh, like seven years old, so I don't, um, I, I gained quite a lot on it, but uh, I don't plan on upgrading it before the PS4 comes out. Uh, I will get the Xbox 720, I guess, as well. Uh, here we have some iPhone 5 cases, 10 internet points, if you can name both of these cases. I'll give you a better look at that one. There you go. Ooh, what is that? Right, okay. <laughs> um, we're pretty much finishing off here. This is just kind of an overview. If you want me to do a kind of feature on some of my products, definitely let me know or anything like that. We have my microphone. This is what I use to record my voiceovers and uh, pretty much all of my videos unless I'm filming myself. And this is the Editor's Keys SL300 mic. And that is sitting on top of a uh, Samsung mic stand, which I think retails for around 15 pounds. So guys, that is pretty much is my desk setup. I have uh, my iPad mini here as well. Again, sitting on a Mika stand um, and my PS3 controller with some control freaks on it. So, you know, it's pretty. It's a pretty simple setup. However, uh, I'm really enjoying it. Let's try and get this a nice open shot again so you can see how it's all going. There you go. So that is my setup. Uh, feel free to video response yours down below if you want to. And uh, yeah, that's that's pretty much it. If you enjoyed, definitely give this video a like. It would be awesome if we could reach like 300, 400 likes. That would be fantastic. So uh, let me know if you want to see more videos like this in the future. Me covering my setup and stuff like that and uh, yeah I will catch you in the next one see you later guys bye bye